What's up? Welcome to part four of dissolving my lip filler. I don't know if we're going to be dissolving again today or not, but if you haven't watched part one, two, or three, what are you doing with your life? Go back. to They're all on my channel. I'll have them listed somewhere for you to um, check it out. Follow the journey because, oh my God, honey, it has been a journey. Um, <laughs> to say the least. I have a feeling we're gonna be dissolving again. By the way, here are my lips, just up close so you can see. Let's go inside, meet with Gab, and see what happens. Back in the office. I have on just like comfy, chill clothes today, you guys. Little athletic moment. <laughs> up close we just finished a little little swollen but not really and yeah so basically I don't know if we explained this before but we I noticed because I'm like hyper analyzing my face I'm like I think there's this one little spot and you ended up finding a few others mm -hmm. so yep what did we do in total today so today we did another session of the hyaluronidase another mm -hmm. dissolving session <laughs> Um, because sometimes there is a lot of filler that is placed over time, sometimes it can require even more sessions than we might assume up front, which is totally fine, totally normal. Sometimes when we dissolve the filler, as the lips continue to heal, maybe other filler that was kind of pushed into areas where it shouldn't have been because there wasn't room kind of comes to the surface. Mm -hmm. So as we just see, when she healed, we saw more little areas where there was just leftover accumulated filler. So today was definitely more spot treating some areas and then we figured while we were in there already let's just do a little bit of dab spot treatments in the other areas and we both feel very mm -hmm. hopeful and confident that today is the last dissolving day Yay. and then we will refill in three weeks time. Yay! I'm so excited. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're amazing as You're so always. Welcome. You're and welcome. I know if you guys, if you haven't watched the earlier vlogs part one, two, three, make sure you do but she's amazing. She's so patient so real and honest and that is like the number one thing why i love her because she wants like my end result to be the goal not just like immediate how do i feel right now so Definitely. Yeah. yeah and that's what we're here for we want to take everyone down the right path and 
anything injectable wise, anything if you're starting over, everything you can look at it is it's a marathon, not a sprint. So mm -hmm. we're getting to the end result slowly but surely. I love it. Yeah, well, thank you. You're welcome. Always love seeing you. Yay! Hello, I just roughly took my makeup off. I have to wash my face. Today is Saturday. Finn! I'm babysitting my parents' dogs and I'm going to kill him. You're like so naughty. He's ruining my plants. I didn't mean to have the flash on. So anyway, um, my lips, it is Saturday. So we did that Thursday. So Friday, Saturday, it's been two days. Honestly, I do feel like they went down already. A little spot, it's not terrible. And I am dry and bruised, as you see. A little bruising, normal. Um, at this point, I'm like a frequent flyer and it's my, that's my fourth time doing it. So I'm pretty comfortable with it. I feel like there's nothing new to show you. Obviously, like, it's still a process. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to check in. I'm really tired. I actually had a tattoo appointment today, which you'll probably watch before this. So it'll already have been out, but yeah, that's why I'm filming on my phone. I'm, I'm so tired. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm cut off, but I promise my hair is really cute. I need to like slouch down so you guys can see. <laughs> like a little TikToker moment. Today is July 13th, so that means in two days it will have been three weeks since I got my lips dissolved last. Again, I don't know where the last three weeks went. I figured I, I should sit down, I have my iced coffee, let's chat about lips, and I guess since I know this vlog is pretty short, I'll just chat with you about some things that I wish I would have known at the beginning and also that I'm happy about not knowing or knowing or whatever. Here are my lips, you guys. That little bump. It's pretty much gone. I feel like I'm as symmetrical. By the way, I have on these eye patches in my coffee this morning. I feel like I'm as symmetrical as humanly possible for my face. And this is like where we're at. And I even told, oh my God, do you guys see Kalani in the background? <laughs> I even told Gab, um, I was like, you know, this is really like the last time for me. I, th that made last time or this time you guys watching dissolving was number four. So we overall dissolved my lips four times with various amounts of the Hyaluronidase and I, I'm really, really, really happy with the result. Um, I just feel like my lips, they just look more like flushed to my face. Any like remnants of that ducky upper lip look that I was starting to get is gone. And that pretty much was my ultimate goal. There are definitely places where I feel like I have deficiencies and I'm not even and like whatever, but that's just being human. And also that's what we're going to, you know, do our best to correct and enhance the right things, correct the things that I don't like and enhance the things that I do um, with filler. So that being said, like, do I wish I would have known that it was going to be an almost four month journey <laughs> of dissolving my lips? That's a really good question. I feel like if I would have known it was gonna be four months, I would have literally like, I don't know if I would have done it to be honest. I mean, I think I would have. I ended up doing it anyway, but I think it's a question of like, It was such an emotional process and I'm so grateful that I did go through it and I stuck through it and I'm glad that I can like share my feelings on the internet with you guys <laughs> because nobody nobody shared that for me when I was when I was looking and doing research so um I, I really, I do think everything happens for a reason. I'm glad we did the four times. I It was totally necessary in my opinion. And 
I'm just really excited because I feel like I finally have like a blank canvas for filler now. Um, that being said, you guys, my lips have kind of grown on me. Like I honestly really like them how they are. Um, I know I'm going to like them even better when we do the filler. <laughs> uh, but that being said, if I had to live with my lips as they are just now, I totally could. And I think that is the beautiful thing of the process of this whole journey is like, I pretty much fell even deeper in love with myself and I wouldn't have got to that point if it wasn't for this process. Like I think for a while I was hiding behind the bad filler. I was, you know, not willing to see myself in a different light with the smaller lips. Um, does that make sense? I don't even know what I'm saying. Honestly, seeing the transformation of like who I was when I got this done the first time and who I am now, it's kind of insane to think about really. Like, I was so upset and like felt not pretty. And now I'm like, I'm freaking gorgeous either way. So it's kind of one of those things where it's almost like my journey with makeup. Like I started out with makeup because of insecurities, but then it turned into an art um, and an artistry and a form of expression. And obviously I post myself with no makeup on the internet on a regular basis. So, you know, there's that. Um, and I love myself with and without makeup so i think this is one of those things i had to learn with filler was like i love myself with and without filler too but ultimately i am you know human and i am allowed to have my own opinion of how i want to look and feel my best the same way people color their hair cut their hair style their hair um do their makeup pick out their outfits um whatever it may be I'm allowed to want to look a certain way and that is totally fine too and now I'm doing it from this place of love rather than this place of insecurity. Wow, that is <sighs> the cherry on top my friends. I think that is where we end this video because I actually have to get going. I got, I was supposed to go in on Saturday but Gab had a cancellation today. So we are two days ahead, but um, she said it was okay. So you guys will see in my next video coming up, my filler journey. We are refilling. There's a lot of fun stuff we're going to be doing at Samafes. And I'm super duper duper excited. <sighs> ah, and also, you guys, there's just a lot of fun stuff coming up on my channel. So... Before I talk your ear off, I actually have to get going because I don't want to be late for my appointment. But like this video, let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the dissolving process? Have you watched all other three videos? If you haven't, I'll have them linked so you can watch part one, two, three. This is part four. We're going into part five with the filler in my next video. So give this video a thumbs up, like I said. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.